The ground is level at the foot of the cross. No one's better than anyone else if we're talking about earning our salvation, deserving the work of Christ. And yet, there's no biblical reason that all the world has to live at the same standard. And this is where a false egalitarianism sneaks in, sometimes into our thinking. When I teach on the book of Acts, often I'll ask the students, what model do we see here? Do we see communism, socialism, or capitalism? And often they'll say, well, the early church was communistic or socialistic. You know, I don't think either of those is true. I'm not going to comment on capitalism right now, but I certainly don't think you can prove biblically that people surrendered private property or they let the government simply uh, uh, redistribute or allocate or, or even let the apostles make those decisions. They were generous. So, but there's no biblical reason all have to live at the same standard. Think about the time in the desert with the manna in Exodus 16. Everyone gathered enough for himself or for his family. God wanted everyone to eat. He didn't want people to be starving. But there was no rule that everyone had to have the same size tent or wear identical denim work clothes. No one was above the law in biblical times, and yet people had different jobs. Some were farmers, some were musicians, some were priests, some were shepherds, some, you could say, worked harder than others. So there's no biblical reason everyone has to live at the same standard. When Jesus promises he'll take care of us if we seek first the kingdom, Matthew 6, he's promising food, drink, and clothing, just the very basics of life. And I think that's why earlier in the verse I read from 1 Timothy 6, Paul said, if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. You know, just the basic physical needs need to be taken care of. Anything beyond that, and we're, we're moving into riches. Well, is it wrong to be rich? I hope some of these thoughts have been helpful to you. But lest you think I'm being evasive, let me give a clear answer. Is it wrong to be rich? Yes. It's wrong to be rich if we're controlled by riches. Or if we're apathetic to the world situation. If we don't care how the majority of the planet lives. Recall, after all, the sin of Sodom. The sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, according to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 16, 49, was this. It says, She and her daughters were arrogant, overfed, and unconcerned. They did not help the poor and needy. And so the riches, the material prosperity of Sodom was wrong. It was a sin for them because they were blinded to the needs of others. They were self-focused and unconcerned. However, is it a sin to be rich? Well, no, not if we're generous and we're willing to share. There's something very good about working hard, making money, not just so we can spend it, but so we can give it away. We must always, of course, guard our hearts, Proverbs 4. Someone said that men of genius are admired, men of wealth are envied. Men of power are feared, but only men of character are trusted. Surely, the Lord is looking at character. The Lord is looking at our heart. There's nothing wrong with possessing riches. The wrong comes when riches possess us.